Hello everybody, we're back here with Fire Emblem on this channel. I've been getting fucked by fucking driving tickets lately, so click on my ads, go ahead. Um, we're playing Blazing Blade today. Why? Because I just fucking feel like it. I've been on a Fire Emblem kick, another one lately. Uh, the top file is not mine, I actually just like... Because you know how when you, um... I originally was playing this on my phone. On my new phone, I didn't have any saves, I'm like, you got me fucked up if you think I'm playing Blazing Sword twice just to have uh, Hector Hard Mode. So I actually downloaded the save file online, and uh, this is my save file. We're on one of my favorite Fire Emblem chapters of all time, and uh, while also being kind of uh, kind of frustrating in its own right. But I, I think I prepared pretty well for, for Cog of Destiny. Uh, on Hector Hard Mode, it's distinctly like a little different from playing this chapter on unlike any of the other modes, like Eliwood mode in particular. Which I feel like that's how most people experience Fire Emblem 7. Because uh, you know it is exhausting, like after you, like imagine having this game like IRL, like on a cartridge and you and you get, um, you beat Eliwood mode, you beat the game, uh, and then it's like, oh well now you get, uh, now you get Hector mode and you gotta play it all over again. Like you're not one, you're not gonna want to do that shit. Even if Hector mode has a lot of actually like different stuff, like it has brand new like original chapters dedicated to it. It has like the Kashuna stuff, which is a little bit different in Hector mode. So, uh, and this can vary based on um, I think it's like the levels of your lords, uh, whether you fight Linus or Lloyd first. I always get Lloyd first because I never fucking train Elliewood or Lynn. They're both trash. They're both trash. <laughs> and Hector's not even that great either. Like, statistically, like, combat-wise, he's great, but being locked to five move is like, and a late promotion on Hector mode, it's like, ooh. Ooh. So yeah, we always get, uh, uh, Lloyd. Lloyd's map. And that's actually the one with uh, the original Lord Wallace himself. Wallace, the the general from uh, Epi Seven, and I didn't even recruit him because yeah, he just died way too quickly. Because um, I actually wanted to get 19xx on this file, so I ended up playing Lin mode, and I didn't promote Wallace. Because in hard mode, usually what happens in Lin mode is like you you get forced into promoting Wallace, but on hard mode, you can actually like keep that knight crest to yourself and get like a second Marcus by early promoting uh, either Kent or Sane and I did that with Kent so so we, so we actually we're actually kind of powerful out here all right so all this bullshit about the the black fang I think I've explained enough context I mean the story here is pretty simple um, oh yeah Nino another pretty trash unit at least in hard mode um, they betrayed the black fang so now they we're being hunted by them. Well, that's not the only reason, but that would. But getting into the reasons would basically be me explaining the entire story of FE7 because this is like the end game. In fact, because of that, I'm just gonna like. Yeah, Linus is one of like the the, the big shots in uh in the Black Fang, which is basically like kind of a like a mercenary group that's been up to some uh, some shady shit. So here's our team. I basically already have all my battle prep done. Um, obviously, you're forced into Hector. My he look at this Hector. This is an this is a really blessed Hector. Like, goddamn son. <laughs> so this is a really good Hector. So I do not mind that. Um, I would like to avoid giving him EXP if possible, especially because he's already maxed his weapon rank. But I mean, if he saves turns, then he saves turns. He's a good unit. Uh, Florina. Uh, she was. Um, she, she's, she's, pretty, she's been pretty good. She's kind of frail, but I gave her the... Uh, she's been growing HP really nicely. Um, obviously, that is with the um, the Angelic Robe from... I think that's another thing from Lin Mode. So yeah, this is Lin Mode trained Flor Florina. Otherwise, she'd be probably like half as good. Because her bases in Hector Mode don't really... Like, if you just play Hector Mode, the bases are a little shaky. Which is fine, because that's why we have... Uh, that's why we have uh, Farina. Uh, really underrated unit. You pay twenty thousand gold to get her, which in this game, that like that sounds like a lot in other fire emblems, but in this one, like gold is really, really um, abundant, especially if you're low manning like me. I mean, this is literally all my trained units, and this is a ten deployment chapter. Other than them, I have like the pre promotes, 
uh, Marcus is trained like a little bit as much as you can train Marcus the best unit in the game like seriously Marcus like almost at base can still like hold up in the later chapters it's crazy you cannot deploy Marcus for like five chapters straight and then deploy him for for the next one and he's, he's still strong and then we have like Kanas. I only promoted him to get staves he's all right but uh, he hasn't really been getting a chance to be deployed lately and that's about it which means I've been selling a lot of the let me just show you like how much gold I actually have to give you an idea of how not big how little of um, a worry it was to recruit um, Florina yeah you can see in the corner there have 69,000 because I basically sold all of the promotion items for both the Lords and um, like for example the fell contract I sold that shit because I'm not promoting uh, Matthew and I, I even still have another heaven seal left over that I haven't sold yet so that's another 10,000 yeah so gold is really not a problem at this stage of the game let's just get into it let's let's get into why this map is so scary and <laughs> it's gonna be so intense because of these Valkyries right here and basically all of the staff users in this uh, map and that's, that's gonna be kind of bad for me because I did not buy enough uh, re restore staves I only have four and there's a lot more than four uses of status staves throughout this map um, I also don't really have physic because I forgot to <laughs> my dumbass forgot to go to that one secret shop even though I went through the trouble of getting the uh, the member card so all these Valkyries carry shit like Berserk like honestly I can I can get behind sleep like I'm fine with just getting slowed down a little bit like, I'd rather take an extra few turns and finish the chapter, but Berserk is just the fucking worst. Oh. Oh, it's so bad. So, yeah, this is just, like, the worst status condition. I just burn it. <laughs> uh, this one has sleep. There's, like, three different guys with sleep staves. It's actually pretty ridiculous. Uh, there's another Berserk staff. So the strat I'm actually, gonna, I'm actually going to use is um, because the the status staves are based on resistance. What I'll what I'll do instead is try and barrier up my my Pegasus Knights and try to clear most of the chapter with them, and maybe like try and waste some of the status staves while everybody else kind of uh, goes through the middle trench here. Which the only thing they have to worry about is. Well, this Valkyrie might have... Oh, God, she has... I thought this one was sleep. It's Berserk. Um, but that's actually not a problem because that's why we have the Restore Stave. Uh, we still have four of those. The idea is just not to waste them on the Pegasus Knights because they're going to have resistance up the wazoo. And that'll be fine. Um, let me just give you a rundown of all my, a rundown of all my units. Can you believe this is a pre-promoted Kent? Like, I promoted him at level 10 exactly. And, uh, like, see, this is efficient use of your stat boosters. This Kent has a Draco Shield and an Energy Drop. Because a lot of beginner players make the mistake of using status boosters to try and make bad units good. Uh, the way you should be using stat boosters is like this, to make good units fantastic. And that's exactly what Kent is. This boy has been putting in all the work. Um, Pent, you know, like, second best unit in the game. Uh... Another pitfall that, um, as Mecha would call them, is like not training both of the Cavaliers if you can. Like usually, I used to do this a lot. When I played Fire Emblem and I got to the Christmas Cavaliers, I was like, oh, okay, which one am I going to train? Like I have to pick and choose. But it's like, no, you can just train both because they're both fantastic. And in GBA, um, and I'm about to use an angelic, an angelic robe on Sane to complement his defense. So another stat booster put to good use. But yeah, in, in GBA... Uh, Paladins are fucking broken, so use them. We saw Hector, we saw Florina, Ninian, uh, looking pretty strong as well, because uh, if you're not using dancers like I do, uh, you're doing it wrong. You gotta use dancers like every turn. Uh, I actually kind of lament whenever I don't get to dance for a unit, so that's why she's so high level. I've been deploying her every time she's been available, uh, trying to, to dance every turn if I can, even if, even if it's for something minuscule. Um, it still usually saves time. Lucius is another unit I got to use thanks to Lin Mode. Pretty nice, pretty neat. Uh, Raven, Raven being good as always. Uh, the hard mode bonuses were definitely kind to him. Oh, look at this. This is my pride and joy right here. Because I missed out on the first Elysian Whip on the Ghost Ship, I completely forgot you could steal one. 
Basically, I didn't get Heath's Elysian Whip until he was already level 20. And this is the result, like this is this dude is a complete fucking beast, and I gave him the Athos drops, because he was one of my only unpromoted units at the time. Um, yeah, just absolute fucking monster. And then we got Farina, and we're back to Kent. So I've been talking way too fucking much, let's just uh, get into this. I'm gonna save even though it's completely unnecessary, and let's get it. Yeah, let's go ahead and deploy more Linus. Uh, so let's see. I mostly only planned out like this half of the battlefield, and okay, I don't know why that keeps popping up. Uh, is that like a save state? Um, I haven't used a desktop GBA emulator in a while. I usually play GBA like on my phone, so I don't know how these emulators work or how I can make that go away. So I'll just go ahead and, uh, oh, there we go, okay. I'm gonna barrier up Farina, dance, barrier up the other one, and just run through the, um, run through the uh the left portion of the map sorry there <laughs> it's gonna be really difficult like thinking about playing fire emblem while also trying to commentate uh like a lot of people meme on people like mangs and gas for fucking up during a uh, fire emblem let's play but i honestly don't blame them so let's go ahead and uh there's a lot of magic users around here okay i, I seriously need to make that go away um, I'm gonna actually pause and figure out how to do that before going any further. Okay, I think it's gone now, but, uh... Unfortunately, I also accidentally made my move here. Basically, I just killed this druid right here with the javelin, and, uh... Actually, maybe I shouldn't have wasted that, because I could have just traded away. Um, I could have traded the javelin as soon as I used the melee weapon with Farina. Yeah, this is just me, this is just me being bad at Fire Emblem, as you can see. Uh, wasting a perfectly good javelin. Nice crit, saving uses. <laughs> and uh, let me just go ahead and check the range on this guy. Uh... Oh wait, no, this is the bolting guy. Meh. Uh, oh no, this is Purge, okay. It's only got 24 attack. Should be pretty easy to bait out without taking a whole lot of damage. Probably like... Well, I know you can do it, but... You're probably not gonna make it in time. Like, you can't really... Yeah, you can't move that far. Sane only has 3 resistance. Kent has 6, so that's pretty nice. And he's got a lot of HP too. But I was really looking for... You, oh my god. Oh, that's so wide. That's such a big staff range. Like, I can't even... Like, what I was thinking I could do is, like, clear a path. Maybe bait some of them out with Lucius, but, like... Like, I, like really, I could... I could use a lame strategy and just kind of turtle up and let Lucius waste all of the staff uses, but that's gonna waste like five turns more or less. If if um, especially if all of these guys or all of these guys get on get in on the action, yeah, it's just gonna be a bad time. Um, so I, what I was thinking I could do instead is use someone with high movement like Heath or or Kent or Sane, dance, and then get all the way up here. And, uh, and, and kill her. Or maybe, like, do that after baiting her down. Uh, so that's why, was, that's why I was thinking I could go up here instead, instead of bothering over here. It's not like I really need the XP anyway. I'm, I'm pretty fine with that. Although you do have... Oh, right, I have the Silence Staff! I forgot about this. What's the range on this? Magic plus two? I mean, divided by two? Let's see how far. The, let, let me see how close I have to get to silence. Uh, that's, that's not as large as I would like it to be. Um, and he has higher magic than Pent, so it's not. It's not like I can use Pent for that, necessarily. That's really nice. That's nice though. I can at least silence the. I'm not worried about the sleep, honestly. It's just the berserk that can end uh, games or end the uh, the map for me. Uh, my javelin equipped. And sorry if I'm gonna be like a little slow in the beginning here because I'm still getting used to the controls on, on desktop. Get Sane up here. Go for javelins. Uh, all right, angelic robe. That's gonna, that's gonna help. Yeah, nice. Okay. 
First turn, not too bad. All the druids are coming down here. All the mages too. Druids all dead. That monk dead. <laughs> oh, he actually did use purge. Okay. Okay, nice. So all the Valkyries are starting to come down. That's really nice for me. Are there any physical units among them? Doesn't look like it, so that's all food for my Pegasus Knights. And uh, just a reminder, the way Barrier works is that it um, the resistance goes down turn per turn, so I still have crazy resistance until, um, until like a few turns from now. So unfortunately, these are not any of the status um, Valkyries. Well, this one is. But this one only has physics. That's fine though. Oh, let me just also make sure... Oh, this one has Luna. Okay, so the Luna... They all have Luna. Shit. Okay, this is not gonna be as uh, as uh, easy as I thought it was gonna be. So Luna in this game is super fucking broken because it negates... Like, it basically just bypasses resistance. Yeah. Okay. Now I remember why I couldn't breeze through this chapter the last time I played it. I could dodge, I could just rely on just some juicy dodges, but I don't I don't want to do that. You have the most HP and the most avoid because of your speed and luck. Uh, Florina does. So I'd rather her... Yeah, because what I can do is just kill the Valkyrie and then have Farina trade the weapon. And that's it, because I don't want her to be in range of... Uh... Oh, hold on. Oh, he might even just use Eclipse instead. That would be fine, because Eclipse sucks ass. Ah, uh, but do I... Because I really want to be able to move away with Arena. I really do. Oh, you know what I can do? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't double with the Javelin. Fucking amazing. <laughs> do I double with the... I do. I do I do double with the Killing Edge. But I'm not going to waste that, obviously. Yeah, that's another thing. The Valkyries are stupid fast, and... Because uh, Florina has uh, shit constitution, I'm not going to be able to double with the Javelin. So yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, or 5 out of 5 unit. Um... Oh, you... gosh damn it. I almost don't want to switch the Javelin to maximize my avoid, but like, I also can't just leave them alive. <sighs> I don't have healing items either. I didn't think this through that well. <laughs> Looking back on it, I'm gonna fucking die. Well, it's done. These guys are not that scary because they have like 11 attack because Luna doesn't have might. The crit chance is scary, but like this guy in particular is like, you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go. Um, how many of these guys have Luna? Okay, so the reinforcements don't have Luna. And I can buy vulneraries over here if I want to. I'd be wasting items, but, you know, it's whatever with that. Can I silence anybody important with, uh, with Lucius? Oh, I can. Oh, wait, no, no, I thought I could get the, the bishop in range, but doesn't look like it. I'll go ahead and, uh, oh, I have to heal Sane, right? He got hit really hard with the, uh, the purge. I almost forgot about that. Is Ninian in range though? Nah. But I'm not using Physic, there's just no way. Saying probably one shot. Yeah, easy. Easy one shot, easy life. Can Heath make it over there? He's still equipped with, uh... He's still equipped with the, uh, Purge, so I can easily just double and kill him. And the Monks are not a threat, like, they have, yeah, they have 10 attack. So they do literally 4 damage to Heath. Which, you wouldn't think that'd be the case, because Wyvern Riders are not known for resistance, but yeah, get the fuck up out of here. Oh, so good! It's so good! I, you know, I'm just realizing I fucked up because, uh, where's the Berserk, uh, staff? Oh, yeah, there it fucking is. 
Well, okay. He's gonna have to dodge. What's your luck stat like? Uh, he could he could dodge. Worst case scenario, I waste a bunch of turns avoiding and trying to get a restore off on him. Because I'd have to definitely... I think... Uh, does he have a Brave Lance? No, he, he has a Horse Lair. That's not good. Shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, if he doesn't, like, one-shot my units, then I guess I'd be fine. Because uh, for some reason, I think they also gain speed upon going berserk, which is the dumbest shit. <sighs> okay. Alright. Well, in that case, it'd be optimal to, like, leave one of these, uh, yeah, I want to leave one of these guys alive so that Heath goes for them if he gets per if he gets berserked, and then I can just, uh, go ahead and use the resource staff on him. Yeah. Pro strats, pro strats. <laughs> Leaving your unit in range of berserk and then and then trying to fix it. I wonder, can I like? Oh, I could just trade the restore to Pent, because I don't think he dies from. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, from Heath. He gets weighed down by one by the. Uh, he doesn't get doubled. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no way like he has anything close to. Yeah, he has 31 attack. So so Pent doesn't actually die to Berserk uh, Heath. So I can actually do. Uh, I can actually do this. That's fine. Okay. So time to pray. Get this massacre over with. That hurt. That was a Luna. Okay, yeah, so these, these little druids, I mean, these little shamans are really not a problem. It's the big, uh, <laughs> big papa in the middle that worries me. Because, not necessarily because of his damage, that can be fixed, and you're not, I'm not going to be taking much damage from the opponents in general. It's the crit. The crit chance scares the fuck out of me. Oh, I actually think I died the druid now. Or Farina does, because he has 24 attack. Fuck me in the ass. I'm about to die. Uh, are, we about to see, are we about to see our first? Yup, there fucking is. Alright. Okay, well, I'm not going to reset just yet, because I'm curious what will happen to Heath right here. Okay, he gets uh, bolting or whatever. I just want to see how the Valkyrie behaves. Yeah, there's a fuck ton of them. Yeah. And there it is. We got Berserked. So, okay. So this is like the... A a everything that could have went wrong, went wrong. Because I played like shit. The Berserk wasn't wasn't that bad. It was the, the, the Luna sh uh, Druid over here. Yes, 24 attack. God damn. I might even like... Use... That, like, really tempts me to, one, put elixirs on them, and also, uh, give, uh, Florina the- or Farina, I get them mixed up. Give her the, uh, the angel's robe. Get her to, like, yeah, that'd give her 40 HP. So she would've lived that. And then, uh, we could've killed the, uh, at least this motherfucker. Uh, okay, another thing I could just do is, like, make a beeline to the village go up to fight the Valkyries and that's it. That's another option. I think I'll do that. I don't need to fight the, the Druids at all. So, okay. We'll be back once I figure out how to reset. <laughs> and we're back. Okay, so a few things I've done differently now. So I gave uh, Farina the the uh, Angelic Robe. I gave her the Brave Lance and this is specifically to fight off the, uh, the Druids because I can use that to just kind of uh, one-round them and not have to get hit, potentially, because I believe... Yeah, okay, Farina has higher strength, so that should work out just fine. Uh, and then, Florina is carrying our only elixir, which they'll be passing which they'll be passing around like a blunt, um, which, that shouldn't be that necessary. I mean, do any of these guys carry Luna by any chance? No. When do they start carrying Luna? I think it's around here. Yeah, all of these... 
I'm oh, not even just uh, these three right here not even gonna bother engaging them we're gonna like fly past them buy some shit because I'm actually in desperate need of weapons like I have a bunch of money I just haven't been able to spend it get this village uh, go up to the mountains and just fuck up all of these uh, Valkyries by that point our barriers are not even gonna be that useful anymore because that'll be like turn five by the time that happens so I guess we're just gonna have to like pray <laughs> on that front I even like considered having Pan to go with them and like be ferried around with like maybe a restore staff and the barrier that could potentially be viable but then we have nothing for if someone gets berserked over here so yeah that's pretty miserable um, so I at that point I would rather just have Pen move up with the rest of the group uh, cause like their, their base resistance is not that bad already like um, yeah 16 and they both, have, they both have 16 res at that point it's just like you know RNG so we're, so we're gonna do the same thing as uh, as we did earlier uh, this time I'm not gonna waste my uh, my ranged weapon like that Got some pro strats right here. Uh, the killing edge will do it, but uh, I think the guy at the bottom has flux, so I don't think we even need to kill him. It's not worth it. I want to save my javelins for the Valkyries. If he has flux, he does no damage because he has a. Oh, he does like. Come on, he's like he does two. That's a uh, hardly anything. Uh, so now, what I can do, now that I have the barrier on this side of my disposal, is use it on people like Heath, have him move up and try and just snipe the Valkyrie. Because at that point he'd have, what, like, 13 res? So that'd be pretty nice. And I have a lot of uses of it, so I can use it pretty liberally to boost my units and just plow through all the monks and mages and all that shit. So let me just check the range on this bitch one more time. Okay, we're still nowhere near it. God, that goes for so long. I can't believe it. Actually, let's have... Um, who do I want killing the monks? I want Sane to do it. Although, I don't I don't even know if he can reach. Well, that's why we have an Indian. Do it on somebody else. Plus, this will just help in general. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter what, <laughs> it just doesn't matter what uh, Pent grew. His bases carry him through the entire game. I also really want to silence them. That'd be rad. Raven up here. I actually, uh, mm, I want to kind of keep Hector here for now, especially since it's not a seize, um, because someone's gonna come in a little a little later to recruit. So I don't want to overextend with Hector. Is basically what I'm saying. So at some point I'll probably have him turn back. All right. So all those all those uh, shamans are. Trying to take us on. Man, that shit didn't even hit. That one had flux, so I don't think uh, that was a threat. All those monks die. <laughs> they do one damage. That's amazing. Oh, that's actually... I was going to say that might hit me a little hard, but nah, son. The Valkyrie's on the move. Oh, the sleep staff. Wait, come on, no. Hey, okay. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, yeah, we didn't need the uh, the barrier staff on them. They just dodge anyway. Okay, so I just want to stay out of this dude's, like, normal range. He's got six move. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to go out. I need to go, like, really low then. And as always, uh, just... Uh, oh, you know what? I could also... Uh, I can't... I'm not in reach. That's the thing. I'm not in reach. He can only move up to here. So I think I can still move well within the mountains and... Uh, 
Cause he can't he can't get like here, can he? No. No. No, no, because the the terrain is impeding his movement. Can he even get like Yeah, okay, if I kill the Valkyrie, he'll get to me, definitely. So that's not a good idea. What I can do is something sort of like this. Uh should I have the javelin even? That's fine. Get Farino over here and potentially kill him. He's got seven defense. He, I think he'll die. Because at that point I would need like Um I only need 20 attack on my Brave Lance to to win. Yeah, I would kill him in one in one round. No question about that. And uh, this is also smart because Th this will tempt the uh, the shamans, if any of them can get to me, to go for Florina, and she has a better chance of avoiding everything. Uh, let's see. Now that the Valkyries have moved up, I wonder if I can silence them. I can silence the... Oh wait, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck me. <laughs> that was a waste. Yeah, they're still over here. Like I said, I'm still like kind of new to the controls on this. The ones that I set for myself, ironically enough. How much res do you have right now? You have 12. Because I kind of just want to go in and take out the bolting, I mean the, the purge bishop, but uh, like we saw last time, that's unnecessary. I can just move in and uh, bop. Is Kent barriered? I don't think so. That's better. Gone. Yeah, FE7 enemies can still be pretty fodder. Like, at this point in the game, we still got like unpromoted enemies and shit. Like, what level are you? Like, 14? Yeah, garbage. Get Hector over here. His resistance surprisingly doesn't suck. It's eight. That's pretty damn good. In fact, I can just, uh, I can do this. Oh, you know what I didn't, I wonder if, um, I wonder if Ninian's Grace actually um, ups my resistance to status because it technically boosts um, resistance. I don't have that many uses left of it. I've been abusing the shit out of it, but that's a, I didn't think of that shit. That's pretty smart. Big brains out here. Okay, yeah, that brain's never making it to the village. We're, we're just flying over that shit. Okay, we don't we don't care about Merlinus either, so that's fine. We got two druids now, and they're probably gonna join together. That's not good. Ninian has good resistance, right? Yeah, it's okay. And it just went up. Wow, that's a really good level up for Ninian. Oh yeah, they try to eclipse you. That's the most. <laughs> that's the the funniest shit. Bolting. That shit doesn't work. That shit doesn't work on your boy. And then we got all these scary Valkyries. Holy shit. Oh, okay, this is the moment of truth. Um, I really should have killed this. Uh, I'm, I'm really taking risks here, especially because now I can move in and kill the Druid. I can definitely go in and do that. Just cause like, I don't want to get slept again, that's the thing. If I kill this uh, druid, am I in range of this one? Okay, no, I'm actually not. Am I? Hold on. No, cause he can move here, can't he? Then why is it only showing... No, if I kill this druid, I'm gonna get fucked up by this one. Oh, it has Nosferatu! Yay! Okay, so I don't even have to worry about that shit. And I got I got my uh, my upgraded uh, HP, so I don't even have to worry about that shit. Out of my fu- oh. Okay, no, he has Eclipse equipped. So I actually don't even have to use the Brave Lance now that I think about it. Easy life. Gone. Be gone. Thoughts. How much damage do you- 
I get doubled. <laughs> oh no, what is this Valkyrie? What is going on? It was in vain, boys. I can't kill this thing. I think my better move is to just... Uh... This thing is not Nosferatu anyway. I also don't want to get this... Uh... I don't want, to, don't want to let these guys get too close. I can just trade away. Yeah, trader the javelin. And maybe try and kill one of them with Luna, the ones of uh, Luna. At this point, I guess I may as well. I'm not happy about that exchange. I'm probably going to have to use an elixir soon. But I especially don't want Florina to, uh, Florina to die. And I just realized I put myself in a position where... No, he, uh, I, I'm going to count on the fact that this Valkyrie is going to try and put me to sleep again. I'm pretty confident about that. Physic, recover, physic, physic, physic. Okay. So it's just this range right here. It's like everything. <laughs> Hector actually has like a pretty decent time because with the barrier up, he would have the most resistance. The thing is, Hector also doesn't have a whole lot of move and he doesn't double things. Well, actually he doubles this Sage. The Valkyries don't even double him. Holy shit, Hector being useful. Like unpromoted Hector being useful is what I meant to say. I could even like Oh, you know what I haven't tried doing? I can do something like this. Yeah, yeah, son. Get these fucking... I don't double them, of course I don't. That's what makes this chapter so scary. Like, it's not even just the fact that the Valkyries are there. It's that they're surprisingly hard to kill. Would I be able to trade away with Hector? No, not a chance. Okay, yeah, because he's got 12 res, and um, I guess I may as well just start working on this uh, on this one. 48 hit? They don't have any luck. Oh, is she in terrain? Not even. What the hell, Kent? Friend? Uh, hit rates? Do I have a javelin somewhere? Actually, I actually do have one. Sane has it. I don't know how close I can be without the fucking, <laughs> without the Berserk getting me. Because, like, they have a support, that's why I want to get in close. <sighs> Do I YOLO and risk a reset over that? Actually, I have a restore on standby. And Sane still has, okay, yeah, he still has his plus five. Um, I guess by that logic, I guess I may as well move in with everybody. Get the whole squad in on this. Since I'm not only, I'm not even worried about risk anymore. What? How are you getting doubled? What is going on? Twenty three. I didn't even see this one. Oh, oh, this is the level. Oh my god. Okay, so which one of the others are also level fourteen? This one. That's twenty. Lord Jesus, help. Help. <laughs> Son. Like, okay, yeah, so the support's definitely helping. So I was thinking if I land this, I could maybe kill with Heath. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, <gasps> holy shit. I'm probably gonna be in range of this one if I... Okay, no, I'm actually not. But I also can't be too uh, overconfident with the, with the res. Although I guess I do have, like, pretty decent luck and speed. Now that I think about it. Even though I lost that really good level up I got in the last run. Nah, that's not so bad. What's my hit rate like with the Javelin? Yeah, yeah, Heath has got skill. I mean, is it is, is kind of a... They're, they're all gonna kill me though, like... Just... In fact, what I really should be doing is this. Get the fuck out of there. Oh, right, I have the silence! I didn't think about that. Okay, well, the thing is, they're gonna, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I knew that shit was about to happen. 
I can't even really silence the sage um, reliably, which would have actually been helpful because the sage can do some damage. I'll try it, I guess, because at this point I've kind of lost hope in silencing anybody else. I go ahead and hit. Oh, it actually worked. Nice. Now I think <laughs> we might not die. Okay, we're good. Hopefully I can waste the Berserk Staff. That'd be nice. Oh god, that's a that was a Luna dude, probably. Oh, not even. It's just all of these shamans. Hopefully I I didn't have another javelin. I, I forgot they do like actual damage. Farney's gonna die again. I made the same mistake of engaging this whole group because of the sleep staff. I got so worked up about that, even though it wasn't hitting. So, if I reset again, I'll just skip to like this scenario again, like like this point in the map. I, I could still live, actually. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Actually, I'm curious how the other situation would have worked out. Yeah, so I'm, I'm fucking bad. We're under kind of OP, though. Oh, what is this? Another sleep? Do I dodge? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I was getting worked about this. I, I was getting worked up about the sleep staff for no reason. Like, um, I could have just skipped that entire group, but I would have I would have been fine. Um, this is turning out okay, though. He's not hitting at all, but uh, Nanine's grace turning out pretty good. Oh, pff, Hector got berserked. Of course he did. Oh, oh yeah, he's just gonna, he's just gonna do that. Oh wow, it actually landed. Probably because it was really close to me. <sighs> yeah. This sucks. <laughs> I got berserk anyway with, uh... What is that? 13 res? God damn, son. Well, at least we know it was, uh... It's in the back here somewhere. Who has the berserk staff? Oh no, she's way over here. Feels bad, man. Holy shit! It's a route. It's not like I could just bulldoze over to, Li to Linus because it's a it's a route map. This is a fucking route map. That's the worst part. All right, we'll be right back. Hopefully, I'll I've played better by then. <laughs> okay, and we're back. So this time I've made the correct decision of uh, completely ignoring this group here. They're probably yeah they're gonna trickle over to to our group over here once they finish killing Merlinus, but um. I mean, at that point, it's like easier to player phase that kind of shit because it's not just two units, it's like the entire squad over here with some serious firepower. I mean, at that point, maybe I should have left the Brave Lance with Sane or maybe even given um, Kent the Brave Sword to deal with like the uh, the Valkyries and the, uh, the Druids. So if I mess up again, then I'll probably just do that since we've committed to not fighting them. And instead, trying to fight all of these Valkyries up here. God, 20 speed. So, first here, let's uh, go ahead and check out some shops. Uh, I don't have the silver card, but that's not a problem. Money is no object. Oh, no ranged weapons? Really? Yeah, give me some silver lances. I'm actually just going to pause this while I buy stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm done shopping. We're about to vi we're about to visit this village n this village next. I can't speak and then go up to fight the Valkyries. Uh, we should still have actually like some of our boosted res. I actually did go ahead and do that just so that we wouldn't take damage from the uh, from the shamans along the way. You really underestimate like you tend to underestimate how far these two travel. So we're probably going to get there with still like plus 3 res, and also Kanto is just ridiculous. Can Pent attack this turn? Uh, doesn't look like it. I should probably just dance. Uh, the one thing I am worried about is the Valkyrie catching up to us because um, Pent can't actually hurt it. Go up here, see what we can do. Uh, oh yeah, we can barrier up somebody because I haven't done that yet. 
and send them up to fight to try and fight this mob here unfortunately okay well it doesn't get this fort I was hoping I could fight from there and probably be, and probably be fine I'll send Heath to do it 13 res that should be pretty okay the bad thing is that he's gonna get doubled by the <laughs> one of the, the Valkyries depending on let's see so oh, I actually only get weighed down by one so if, if it spawns with like any more than 22 speed Oh yeah, it's fine with 23 again. Okay, because sometimes that can be variable. Uh, put Kent and Sane here as well, just in case for some reason they want to go for them. Got the support going. I could even try and silence uh, something. Yeah, that's probably not happening. If anything, anything counts. Oh, I missed. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I want to get like this group done with before all of these guys uh, show up. The worrying thing is the Berserk Staff once again. Oh, hi. Hello there. Gosh, oh, the Valkyries might actually kill me now. <laughs> Feels bad. Oh, nice! They're splitting apart. Okay, they're trying to go after the, the Pegasus Knights. That's nice. <laughs> Shit. The saying, what happened? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I put him in range of both the mage. He only has three res. I'm in. That was all on me. I'm a fucking moron. That still does so much. I keep thinking that I barriered them, like in the last. Uh, the last attempt, but I didn't. And now I guess I'm supposed to player phase all of these uh, Valkyries. Oh yeah, we got reinforcements, of course we do. Let me just check out what these reinforcements have got, if they have like status staves. Because the idea here is to get to this one. Uh, oh, oh, that one hasn't even moved yet. It hasn't even... <sighs> I hate this fucking chapter. You know what? Um, we're, we're taking a different approach. I, it, it's clear to me now we cannot like... We can't get through here. Even if uh, Sane was still alive, trying to player phase these Valkyries is like, like, look at this. Honestly, well, I killed, but we still got all of these Valkyries left to go. And if we leave like two of them alive, someone's dying. That's the thing. See, like, look at this damage. And I keep pressing, I keep confirming my attacks when I mean to go back. Yeah, just just give it to me. Goodbye, Raven. Goodbye, Heath. Oh yeah, here's Vida. Hey, what's up? No one died? Are you kidding me? Yeah, so Vida comes back. You recruit her. That's why I wanted to leave Hector behind. Wow, the act. Well, okay, so Kent got berserked, but like, <laughs> we actually survived that shit. This is insane, dude, though. That's a little sad. We survived the status staves. Yo, I can't believe it. Green is at like half health, but that's fine. We have the elixir on deck. Next try. Uh, ne next try is the run. Even though we have all these, uh. Do any of these have Luna? If not, they'll do like two damage. Nosferatu, Nosferatu, Luna. Still, though, once we kill these Valkyries, I, I, think, I think we just dip and regroup. Yeah, see, this is it's better to like cut through here because then we can like regroup a lot faster and take out the druids and shit. Yeah. Yeah, this is doable. Yeah, then I just um I don't even need the brave weapon. I just need to pop a pop an elixir. Again, I don't want to lose Sane, so I'm not going to like continue with this. Um I have Ninian here now too, so I can actually like player phase this kind of feasibly. Uh, Heath's about to die though. Pfft, never mind. Heath is Heath is chilling. He he doesn't even give a fuck. Obviously, I die if I do that. So the good thing about Raven is that even though his defenses suck, he at least has good HP. Yeah, now I can go ahead and restore. 
I didn't think that through actually. Oh, oh, hold on. Pro strats. Pro strats. What's the shit? Oh, uh, well, pff, okay. Actually, I'm not even gonna be able to. I, I can only restore one of them at a time. I thought I could, like, try and do both, but Lucius uh, does not have Kanto. Yeah, he can't do that shit. I wish I had another resource, Dave. That'd be nice. Because if Kent attacks somebody, they're gonna die. <laughs> like, just straight up. Oh, yeah, this is the worst part about Berserk units. They can, like, straight up walk through your own units, and then he's probably gonna kill Ninian, if I had to guess. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. I don't. I, I don't. Oh, pff, I, I miss. I, I misclicked. Misclicked. No! <laughs> I think I'll just keep Hector here. He can at least kill like some of the Valkyries. And recruit Vita, and they can like defend Merlinus and maybe kill some of these dudes as well. Uh, he has the Brave Axe, so he can actually kill the Druid pretty easily. So, and he's not really doing much up there anyway. <sighs> Part 2 is coming. We uh, suffered a, a, a crushing defeat today. <sighs> Darkness Im imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute horror. But we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs>